Hi right, guys, I'm coming to do a quick video. I wanted to do a video where I was actually standing in front of you and dress up nice and fancy. Forgive me if you hear Coco, but I can't find my camera stand. So now you're just going to have the talking hand, uh, a talking hand video. But anyway, if you've been following me along, you know the whole saga of us packing up to move and the deal fell on the through and we have to, we had to end up staying here and then in the meanwhile, I ended up buying a beautiful new dining room set to go and said new home. So out of all that, I got this beautiful dining room set and I really, I didn't feel like doing a lot for Christmas this year, but I was really looking forward to decorating this dining space. So I just wanted it to feel really special. It's the first room you see when you come in our house. So I really want to give you that instant Christmas feeling and it just feels very luxe to me. It reminds me of a really nice hotel at Christmas time very 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 luxe i love it so on the table i kept it kind of simple all i did was use garland i already had and i really did try not to buy anything i purchased very little i don't even think i purchased anything but ribbon to be quite honest i'm thinking i'll let you know as i go but i really don't think I think everything i've had if you look back through my videos and i love doing that i love using christmas things in a different way i even put my tree up in a different space i didn't buy anything new for my tree i just put it up in a different space so anyway this is garland that i have i have lots of garland and hold on one second because my dog is going to be barking no she see people walk by <laughs> sorry if it gets a little dark in here but um I, put, I used garland and then i added these dollar tree picks that i've had for years so i used the red and like a champagne go picks um this is a candle i got from ross i have several of those candles and when you see them at ross just pick them up um my same old christmas plates that i normally use my gold flatware and i put a napkin in there just to give more height and add a little more color to my table um i did the napkins upside down with this ribbon and all i did was cut i have like uh scissors that that cut this edge right here um and so i just added that i cut the edges of my ribbon i got the ribbon from hobby lobby um but i cut that edge to give it that little detail i thought little things like that matter to me um but i just love my table i love how it kind of looks neutral, but I just love how we're pulling out the burgundies and the deep colors and the neutral colors that's in my painting. Some people like my painting, some people don't. My family does not particularly like this painting, but I love this painting. It's the first piece of art I ever bought, so I love it. Um, and I just love how I decided to go with these burgundy candles beside it. Now, I got these candles from the Dollar Tree. Um, of course, never leave them unattended, but especially Dollar Tree candles. Um, this candle keeps blowing out because of the air vents right over it. But I like how the burgundy is pulled out from this painting here. And this is a Sambo painting. You can look him up. He's a real artist. But I got this painting from a thrift store for like $7. <laughs> um, and then here's my little tree that I put in here. I just stuck it in a vase to give it some height. And then I decided to do one ornament of my favorite girl, Coco. <laughs> She's the star after all. And a nice ribbon. I wanted to keep it very simple. Sorry if I'm shaking. But that's so that the, um, at night, you see this tree from the street because again, we have this nice big window in this room. And I just like the way it glow. I like to keep it very simple, but I just think it's very pretty. I almost, it's so pretty at night. When I do my full home house video, I will show you how everything looks at night with the lights off. It's so pretty. All right, and on to my buffet. I'm so excited about having this buffet. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, this is just such a beautiful piece. It doesn't, it has storage, but not a lot of storage. I wish the drawers were deeper, but it fits what I need it to fit. And I just put more candles out here. Guys, I've had these candle stands. These were gifts I got for my wedding. I need to polish them up. So I've had those for over 23 years. Again, more Dollar Tree picks in here. That's all that is, the Dollar Tree picks. I just added a little greenery. My aunt gave me this beautiful black Santa. Look at all his detail. He's a nice dark, rich red. I thought he went perfect here. Of course, you know I love my fake fruit. Um, but I think I thought I loved how it brought out the burgundies and the reds. Now, as I get closer to the Christmas season, 
I will be putting out fresh fruit, like um, the little oranges with the walnuts and the nutcrackers, um, little peppermints. I love to have those. I'll have some here. I'll have some on my coffee table. I'll have some in my sitting room and my sunroom, and I'll have some in the kitchen, of course. Um, just little nibbles everywhere for the holiday season. But my house smells so good. It smells like cinnamon in here and peppermint. <laughs> so when you really look at everything, guys, it looks very fancy and like it's a lot. But it really isn't. And I know I'm saying that people are like, really? This is not a lot? Not really. This is just a centerpiece with candles that I already had. These are just napkins that I already had wrapped in ribbon. You could do this with simple white plates if you wanted to, but I inherited these plates from my mother-in-law, these little Christmas plates. I have the whole set, but I just did the plate. It comes with coffee cups and bowls, but I just did the plate. Um, and then I just added a pop of color in my glass there. And then over here is just candles with little embellishments of little uh, greenery, Christmas greenery, and that's it. And then this thrifted gold tray is so heavy, but I got it from an antique shop. Um, and when I actually host people, of course, I'll, again, I'll take this out. And I think I had a video last year where I put cheeses and meats and things in here for appetizers. It's just, it's fabulous. And of course, my thrifted um, mirror that I got from like a Goodwill or something. For like, I think, I, yeah, I paid $5 for this mirror. It's cracked on one of the corners, a piece of the trim is um, cracked just on one of the corners. and But that's it. <laughs> so they gave it to me for $5. Oh, right here. See, it's missing like the trim. But that's it. So it was a $5 mirror. But yeah, this is my dining room. And I love how it turned out. And I have more videos to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my dining room. Be blessed.